What up you guys, it's Marilu from our kills and today I am in travel mode because I am currently in Ottawa and I'm filming this in one of the bathrooms of the hostels what I'm staying um, but I I really wanted to take some time to react to Melanie Martinez latest posts which are basically teasing her upcoming album it was one of the pages that i follow on facebook that um, informed me that melanie had posted a video um on her profile and she's apparently she's apparently deleted her entire feed and so basically she's like starting from zero a new era starting and we love that. I'm a bit sad about it to be honest though that she deleted her feed because I think her feed was like very aesthetically pleasing and I don't know very cohesive cohesive and I really love um I love Melanie's aesthetic overall like I don't know it's probably one of the things that I love the most about her as an artist and the fact that you know her the story of her character crybaby is so cohesive and like her themes are interconnected with each other and overall everything she's put out like follows a storyline like it follows this bigger narrative and i love to see that from artists um it shows that there's been like a biggest uh, a bigger um work behind their music is not just writing, producing, and putting out music. There's more to that. So she has, so this is what her account looks like at the moment. Her username is still Little Buddy Big Heart, which she's uh, brought on since, you know, Cry Baby came out. Um, her description says the one and only living uh, coma living deceased and she's put like a bunch of symbols like a black oval which i think is going to be very it's I think it's going to be one of the symbols of her upcoming album and the, her profile picture is a um pink butterfly which reminds me of rosalia I hope, I think that Caliucci's also used the butterfly to, um, for her upcoming album Red Moon and Venus. I hope that not every artist is going to start using the butterfly from now on, but I do think that Rosalia kind of in initiated this because it's just strange that everyone will go for this right now. So the first video that she put out was... Yeah, it was this, uh, it's a mushroom, it's her, it's Melanie singing about death and how she's, uh, you know, dead basically, um, and there's sort of a mushroom and then on the mushroom we see the words, um, R.I.P. Cry Baby, and then the next picture is the picture of the, of the pink butterfly. Her second video was, I think, yeah, it's another animation, and the description says the nucleus of creation. We see, yes, the animation of, I guess it's an egg, like a human egg, you know, the uh, ova. And then the next picture is, you know, sperm. So it's definitely yeah it symbolizes birth and conception um the uh, she indicated portals as the location of both posts and which people think that's going to be the title of her new album so what do you think about this so first of all i'm really excited i i love i loved crybaby and i loved k through 12 every um and i love them and like i love them equally like i, I don't think that k through 12 is like 
worse or better than Crybaby. I think they follow like a similar storyline. And K through twelve is clearly um, it's clearly an evolution of Crybaby. Like it's there's some progress there. Um, I don't expect any less from this third album and I have like very high expectations. Now Melanie, um, let's say that Crybaby and K through 12, like yes, yeah, so Crybaby's born and then she goes to school. So they kind of have like a similar aesthetic, you know, this pastel pink colors and they're very, yeah, they're very like baby like like very sweet and innocent and like their aesthetic is very childish it's purposefully childish um this album the aesthetic for this album is appears to be completely different it's much more down to earth and much more realistic you know like the um the butterfly like the earthly butterfly and the um you know the concept of fertilization and you know like the um picture of the sperm like these are very down to earth and the colors are very dark and i don't know yeah i really don't know what mel what melody is going to pull out because it's um yeah the is she going to change her entire aesthetic? Is she going to like incorpor incorporate those elements in her music? Because, you know, these colors are like very, I don't want to say dull, but like they're so different from, they're so not her. But at the same time, I don't know, it's just very, it's just very exciting. Um, one thing I'm concerned about is the way um, she's using the theme of death because I've seen you know there are a lot of there are a lot of artists today that are using the theme of death I think it's been very overused and as we saw with the Wednesday Netflix series like people seem to be this attraction to dark spooky characters and almost as if like they become a caricature like they're not even I don't know Wednesday Adams is considered a caricature at this point um, because we kind of I haven't watched the series to be honest but you know there are things that are expected of Wednesday Adams things that are not expected of hers um, so it's like it's more like a caricature and I really hope that yes Melanie will definitely follow this theme of death but I, re but I hope she's not going to follow into the strap of being cliche about it or yeah, becoming like a like a ha Halloween artist, and it would be funny if like her album dropped around Halloween. Um, there are artists that, in my opinion, rely too much on the um, like a gory aesthetic that they kind of become caricature of like themselves. So I'm really curious to see how Melanie will incorporate this. I mean, her it's interesting because her first post was about well, her first post of the new era was about she was talking about death and then the second one is creation so is she so crybaby's dead but what's who's being born because something or somebody is going to be born so these are questions that i have and i really hope we're going to see her new album this year i really hope that we won't have to wait for until next year um because that will become kind of dragging it for too long but i think she's doing i mean she posted just like a few days ago and today she's posted again so today as i'm filming this it's february 19th by the way so i hope that she's going to be fairly quick and like I, I hope it's like yeah she's going to build up the um the weight and the expectations but i hope that she's gonna do it well and not just you know announcing the album just uh, without any kind of teasing anything um that's really like an art in finding the right balance between you know the teaser part and the actual release date so we'll see how she does for now i just wanted to comment on this and it's 
yeah i'm really excited as you all know and i really hope to um i will keep you guys updated once she re once she releases more once she teases more and i'll be commenting on what comes out as we go thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys at the next one